up here at 10, this Fox News alert, Pasco County, where deputies are forced to open fire today on a woman who was armed with a knife. They released this body-worn video here, shown a short time ago. Moments before the shooting happened near Denton Avenue and Dane Lane in Hudson. Fox 13's Evan Moon is there outside the sheriff's office tonight in Newport Ritchie with more on these latest developments. Evan, a lot to unpack here. Walk us through what happened. Well, the sheriff saying tonight it was a tragic situation, but that his deputies only had 30 seconds to respond to this threat. This woman was yielding a 12 inch knife. We're going to show you more of that body camera uh, video first. You mind just throwing that down? Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Put that down. Put it down. One go four, get us ten three. She's got a knife. Down. Put it down. Get down. We got one at gunpoint. Don't, don't do, do it. it. That was the moment just before 29-year-old Isabella North was killed as she came towards police with a knife. Before deputies arrived there around 3.30 p.m., she was seen at a pet cemetery. A good Samaritan stopped to ask if she was okay. Isabella used that passerby's phone to call police, where she told dispatch she was clinically insane and thought she might kill someone. Two Pasco deputies then arrived at the scene where they saw, uh, where you saw them rather ask to put her weapon down. She took a violent stance then, and Sheriff Chris Nako said, says they then had only 30 seconds to make a quick decision. It's a very sad situation. The deputies are all trained in de-escalation. However, the subject did not allow us to talk to her. They did not allow us to de-escalate the situation. No deputy is ever going to work, you know, wanting to get in this type of situation. There gets to a point where, you know, the deputies' lives are at risk. You got to protect your own life, and that's where they had to do what they had to do, unfortunately. The sheriff says once Isabella ran from her house nearby, some of her family were actually considering notifying police about her behavior before this all unfolded. Someone clearly dealing with mental illness. Now the FDLE is investigating this shooting, and for now, those deputies will be put on administrative leave. In Pasco County, Evan Moon, Fox 13 News. All right, Evan.